us just find Apollyon and outdrink the judge. Yeah, I think she went in back. Let's uh, take a look. She seemed pretty calm and nice though, so I don't really want to use the rich asshole thing on her. Although we didn't get a chance to really use it. So your profile says you work in the ninth circle? I swore I'd never date anyone further than five. Well, your profile says you're over six feet, and I swore I'd never date liars. Ouch. Next. <laughs> I'm thinking we can go back to a normal Liquid Courage one. As soon as the menu pops up, which I am currently waiting on. Oh, I gotta finish my drink right now for us, probably. Yeah, down it all in one go. You wanna give me the the menu now? Uh oh, we might have a game freeze here. <laughs> what do you have, you obvious demonic entity, you? Yes, as I was saying, I think I'll just go back to the liquid courage. The pink one or the green one? Maybe the pink one? Yeah, lots of gin, horse saliva, rock salt. I'll take one hearse chaser. Yeah, hearse chaser. Hearse chaser, you got it. Drunk. Yes, that's all this is, just being drunk. <laughs> Good old inebriation. And hopefully we can make it past this part too. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, they do have a person playing the... Piano? Is it a piano back there? Not a sphinx though, just seems like a regular human. Lying is an accursed vice. It is only our words that bind us together and make us human. That's Montaigne, about a dozen years before he died of tongue paralysis. Everyone says God is a humorist, but what they really mean is, he's a sadist. It's sometimes easy to confuse the two. Wouldn't you agree, Lutzelfrau? Uh, uh, oh, certainly. Oh, certainly. No, I couldn't agree more. Humans are the worst. <laughs> that's is that that's what you were saying. Ah! Ugh, oh God, my knees are gonna be angry at me tomorrow. Hey, you, you sorcerer! You turned me, a demon, into two separate, adorable human beings. You're Lola and Milo, heirs presumptive to the Amber Throne. The king what? and queen of alcohol, by the grace of Lucifer and his partying realms and puking territories. You should be very proud to have made it this far. I drink! But this is as far as you go. Uh, Apollyon, please, we, we, uh... Oh, wait, what was that about the throne? Okay, look, your, your honor, we just want your seal, okay? We, we won't tell anyone what, what we saw in here or, or anywhere in hell. <laughs> For that yes, we'll, we'll forget all about all this stuff that is permanently burned into my retinas. I could not care any less how many podcasts you do when you get back, child. When? Did my she said consorts when? discuss with you any plans I may be concocting to replace Lucifer as the devil? Think before you answer, please. Um, I don't want to get anyone fired, but I. I'll say it. Yes, they they did. Yes, they did. <sighs> they gossip worse than swine in a slaughterhouse. You are forgetting you ever heard any such story, correct? Yes. Uh, will do. I mean, what story? Montaigne, in his wisdom, put only stubbornness below deceit in his ranking of manner defenses. I personally disagree, but I can see his point. Even so, I have lied tonight and will lie more to annihilate a particularly virulent strain of stubbornness from someone very near and dear to me. And you two are going to help me do it. Satan. Uh, um, how? Uh, uh, okay. Andy. Yes, Your Honor. I need you to observe and assist our latest appointee to the Public Defender's <laughs> Office. Uh, uh, seriously? Yes. Um, oh. Okay. Whoa, 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 wait, what? That, what? That will be all, Andrea Alphys. Thank you. Oh, what's happening? You are now part of Roberto Spaghetti's defense team, Lutzelfrau. What? And as part of that defense team, you are going to ensure that he receives a guilty verdict. What? Huh? Hello? You want us to take a dive? In so many words, for which you'll be granted the opportunity to outdrink me for my seal. If you win, of course. Now, how does that sound? 
Fair. No! But what if he's innocent? He seemed... I don't know, he didn't seem like the person they described him as. His life is less important than tonight's undertaking, Lola. As difficult as that may be for you to understand. The trial is starting. It's your choice. Either ensure Roberto Spaghetti doesn't leave the Nine Circles, or maybe try your luck with another monarch. If you haven't already burned those bridges, that is. Fuck it, we're in. Andy, ready? I suppose as ready as we're going to be. Were you, uh, brought up to speed? They'll learn on the go. It's fine. They're professionals. Professional is what they are. Hey, if you say so. All ready? Hands and feet inside the cart at all times. Please place your belongings in the pouch in your seat and see you on the other side, kids. Meow. She is saying that we'll be back for sure. Oh, I don't know if you wanna... You, uh, you wanna get in on this? Oh, God. Sent you to the wrong carpal tunnel. Whatever. Sorry <laughs> about that. Ladies and gentle demons, the tribunal is now in session. For the prosecution with a record of 800,609 convictions and counting, the toxic tongue flatterer, the legal eagle, the hapus capus, your very own butter and egg man, Malamar. Oh, yeah! Woo-hoo! Yeah, yeah! Thank you, thank you. Now, my record speaks for itself. But I'd like to add that that achievement has been achieved not because I have sought convictions, but because at every turn, I have sought justice. <laughs> and for the defense, uh, slight change of plans, but no matter. For the defense, by special appointment, Andreolfus and Wetzelfrau. Huh? It's just stupid rhubarb and monkey in a dance with really cram in your whole face in your donkey trying to pass it. I need a drink. Yes! Here, here! Where's the barman? Mixologist. Oh, brother. Spare me your ill-gotten sense of self-worth, and just get me something with gin in it, will you? And for you, uh, madam... Okay, we'll decide what to do with Roberto once we see how he performs. Is he really innocent? Is he really guilty? Do I really care? I don't know yet. Morning murdrama. Murder? Liquid Courage, European Police Siren, Mayonnaise, Hot Sauce sobers you up, Double Talk, Two Shots of Well Whiskey, and Vodka, Slur, Serpentine, Team Up, Rabbit's Head, Charming, Children's Cereal, Bourbon, Divinely, Convert, Charisma. All of these seem pretty useful. Let's try Double Talk. Charming, though. <laughs> when are we ever charming? Uh, okay, confuse them. I'll have a double talk, please. Certainly, ma'am. Place your bets with me, gentlemen. Right over here. Darn it, you garbage, you Okie dokie, everyone. Everyone's got their bets in, got their drinks. Okay. Let's get these trials going. I got a Massachusetts manor to possess in like two sunrises. All rise. The dishonorable Judge Tedeville is presiding. Hi, everyone. Tito Villas. Hi, Judge Tito Villas. Yeah, hi, cheers. What's the first, uh, you know, whatever? Case number 899, the city of nowhere versus Roberto Spaghetti. Oh, shit, this is ours. I mean, the one Polly once thrown. The defendant is accused of going on a murderous rampage at a carnival and then lighting a carousel on fire. Why, another open and shut case. Start blunting the axes. No, no, you, you, your honor. We know to a certainty that a warlock stole my client's identity using hair samples to create a twisted, rancorous version of Roberto to get back at the carnival that fired him. What? But why would a carnival fire a warlock, Your Honor? He was hired as a fortune teller, and customers complained that their futures were too depressing. But that's beside the point. The point of fact is that my client, Roberto Spaghetti, is innocent of all charges. I... we'd like to hear Roberto's side of things. Yeah. Whoever said that, that's really smart. Mr. Spaghetti? I was born in a very small, very humble town in the Belgian province of West Flanders. Basta! I just want to say <laughs> that I never meant anyone any harm. I only wanted a house sitter for my cat, Huey. Named after Huey Lewis, my favorite musician from New York. And the warlock I hired deceived me for his own villainous scheme of dastardly revenge. Okay, I think we've heard just about enough of this. It's clear the defense is just trying to sway the judge's sympathy by appearing incompetent. 
Absolutely not, Your Honor. In fact, I hated Roberto more than any of you when I first met him. I thought he was guilty. I did, I'll admit it. I judged him for his accent, for his candor, for his kindness that I perceived as symptoms of an oncoming fever. But I was wrong. I have in my possession a signed confession from the warlock himself oh. that will completely exonerate Mr. Spaghetti from all wrongdoing. Wait, do we? Do we really? Yes, whoever said that. The warlock died in a warlocking accident just five minutes ago, and he plea bargained for a lesser sentence to get Roberto off. Our client didn't do anything wrong. You have this confession with you? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, right. No, I, I heard Roberto confess just uh, earlier tonight. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god. Well, whoever said that must know something. <laughs> Who said that? That's impossible. Roberto's We're messing this an up. innocent man. Counsel, do you have this confession or don't you? Are we really letting this happen, Lola? Apollyon's not gonna give us the seal if we let him walk. But Roberto's a good guy. Counsel? Yes, I, uh, I have it right here on my phone. It's, uh, I took a picture of it with an app that makes, it turns your face into a rabbit. Oh, they cool. They got banned for being racist for some reason, but uh, I downloaded it before it got taken off the store. Here, see? Huh. And I, Julian the Warlock, do solemnly swear that it was me who am responsible for all those deaths. Me who am? <laughs> oh, he put that... What? Sorry. We Is this fake? That joke. We were at a restaurant ordering food and then I... Time's up. Trial's done and none too soon. Case number 899, the city of nowhere versus Roberto Spaghetti, the court of karma magistratus finds you... No, Not guilty. guilty. By reason of sorcery. Ah, <sighs> grazie. Uh, Mr. Spaghetti is to be immediately released into the guardianship of custodial oh! angels. And let's all pray he enjoys nature documentaries, because God knows that's all they fucking watch up there. <laughs> let's Frau, we did good here tonight. We really did. I hope you know that. We saw that, that due process isn't just a town in Alaska. And you can really make a difference if you try. Oh, we are really going to hell for this. We sacrificed a lot for this, Andy. Yeah, we needed Polly's seal, and she probably won't give it to us now that we did the exact opposite of what she wanted. I'll tell her what happened, don't worry. She couldn't have had all the facts. That confession came in last minute. Thanks, everyone, really? for coming out tonight. The High Courts are proudly sponsored by cupidity, racial fanaticism, an unquenchable hunger for political power, <laughs> and Reebok Fuel Pump Sneakers. Pump up your life with Reebok. Bye! Is that an actual product placement? I don't <laughs> feel good about what we just did, Lola. I mean, I'm glad we got to help Roberto, but I'm nervous we've just made things a lot harder for us. I know it sounds selfish, but it, I, I, I don't know. We got four demons, all right? We'll, we'll be fine. We got four monarchs. There will be other ways, Milo. Come on, this isn't over yet. I guess the silver lining is we never have to see Polly again. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to see her right now. And if we don't, we should. <laughs> we don't get poofed back? Okay. Well, that was part of my thinking, too, because we have four monarchs, so it's okay if we piss off one of them. Milo? Lola? Uh, maybe. Apollyon wants to see you. Immediately. Uh-oh. Go to first and insert right now. She's waiting for you at the school, your strangler. Thank you for your understanding. Uh, guess we should go to the Strangler if we want her, uh, her seal. I hope Andy helps me out, man. What was that thing about how Robert wanted me to fix his hair? Cause then, in the trial, they were talking about how... A warlock stole people's hairs to impersonate as long? I feel like that's gotta be related, but... Oh god, whatever. Whatever, Roberto's free. If he did it, then... We just sent a devil to heaven, which is, you know... They'll figure it out. The unchaste crater. Says it's where Satan landed when God threw him out of heaven. Yeah, it looks like he left a big hole. I think he's calling it unchaste because God was being rude. <laughs> well, Satan himself is quite a big guy too, so it could be either or. How do we get out of here? The sign says that giant door is the the 87th Propyleum to the Nine Circles. Propyleum? Yamaloka, one of the many doorways to hell. Ours are Cockrow to Eventide. 
And if all goes to plan, we'll be telling Weekly World News about it well before uh, Cockrow. Yeah, I really don't need to see what's on the other side. It's a great view from here, though. Wish I had my phone with me. Which I do! Hell, Satan. We saw this one. Why can't they clean up the vagrants and little rant? Saw these three creepos going behind a food truck for a little of the old scrum diddly umptious. Gross. Get a room. Three's a crowd. <laughs> of all the people who were getting it on, it wasn't us. Oh, God. Roberto Spaghetti found innocent, and his defense attorney looks like 16 puppies smuggled in a giant knapsack. Crazy ass trial. He had to be there. Oh, so people just get directly sent to freaking heaven. You've got to be kidding me. Now, can we go to Hurdy, Dirty, Dirty, Purdy? We do still have this room right here. Is Andy really gonna help me explain it all to Apollyon? I don't know. I don't know. I would have thought she would be all about a sense of justice, you know, since she's a judge and all. But I guess there's a reason why she's an ex-judge and she's trying to overthrow freaking Satan. I guess that's a no right now. We can't go in. Okay, fine, fine. We gotta go back to the beginning for the cab from Sam. Taxi! Uh... Where, where's Sam? Oh. Whoa! Oh! Okay. What should we do? Should I try and climb in front and, like, steer? Not that I want to, but I'm nervous of careening into, like, an evil buoy or something. Uh, maybe, but I mean, do you even know how to drive this thing? Of course I don't. Yeah, Milo, didn't you ever take Hell Fairy 101 when we were in 10th grade? Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Hell Teacher really was a hell inspiration. <laughs> we all stood on our desks at the end, like every movie ever with a teacher in it. And then we all clapped. You could have said Hellspiration, but I'll let it go. God, <laughs> doodle, the way you dress, it's like you're trying to look pregnant. Wait, who's that? Shh. <laughs> She's just practicing for college. What was the... You're always saying what? I don't need friends. No, I don't need boyfriends. Yeah, I'll get a boyfriend after I get a life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. It's my turn. Ah! Right you are, Lola. It's your turn. Oh, you are so very introspective, so self-aware. You're like one of those losers that starts to get depressed and then runs online and posts about how they're starting to get depressed and how it's okay to get depressed. And everyone should know out there in La La Land that it's okay if they're depressed. And here's the suicide hotline if you're feeling depressed. Leave Lola alone, Wormhorn, okay? She doesn't have the inner strength like I do to handle it. What? What? I'm sorry, Patty, you're so much stronger than I am, physically and intellectually. I don't know why I said that. Wormhorn. Yeah, I thought your sisters would be really proud of you, Lola. Nina, Sarah, Dinah, they would be, oh, they would be really impressed. First, you befriend a pathetic security guard demon just to sneak into the House of Lies. And then you outparty a monarch of Hades Apollyon. That's really something. I wonder what those fleshy kins people of yours would say. Jesus, Doodle, are you ever gonna get a car? Or are you still throwing away your money, saving dolphins or something? Oh, right. They wouldn't say anything about it because they're assholes. Wise assholes, but still. You don't have to be an asshole quite so loud, you know? Uh, do your sisters really sound like that? Not that I can complain. My sister sounds like the bad seed if she wasn't struck by lightning. Grew up and followed an archaeologist named Steve to New Mexico. They don't they don't sound exactly like that. <clears throat> so I'm not that good with the colloquialisms, but it's close enough, okay? Previously on Lola's dad's life, he had a past marriage and sex with other humans. Oh my and god. Lived in Detroit with three daughters he would later abandon for his current ex-wife, Lola's mom. See, Lola's oh. like the mercenary remake of a Hollywood classic. Sure, there's a bigger budget, but less passion too. And the script had 12 writers. No, this is the last time I invite her over to hang out. She just sat in the corner and pet Baxter the whole night. Yeah, I know all of this already. She also knows that my parents are divorced too, and that... It's fine, Milo, it's fine. 
We can just sit here quietly until this whole stupid ride is over. Don't even engage. It's like it's like what every lawyer with tattoos tells you. Don't talk when being questioned. It okay. can only hurt you. Did you see their Christmas picture this year? Noodle is always scowling. It's like a joke at this point. <laughs> Why? Why do you call her Noodle? Because her baby hair looks like a cartoon. Her grandfather said it first. Lola likes it because even though it's a distancing and alienating moniker, it means the original family carries her at all in their considerations. Oh, shut up, Nina. I don't like it. Hey, it's oh. not Nina saying it. It's your version of Nina. So file any complaints to your own personal psyche. Okay, we're warned. She's got her fill, I think. Uh, like, Nina knows shit about shit, okay? She dropped out of college <laughs> when she got pregnant with Malcolm. And it was the best decision of my life, honey. God had a plan for me. I just didn't know it yet. Yeah, Doodle never really believed in the almighty, in the fate. Oh, she said she did, but then Christmas would come around, and she'd quote textbooks over St. Paul to defend evolution or some shit. Yeah, look where that got her. Holiday dinners were always so awkward. We'd say grace, and she'd keep her eyes open, staring at the table. Yeah, I don't know if Wormhorn deserves a spirit acting award or anything, but your sisters sound like morons. They are morons. The sad truth is that Lola envies what she sees as our faith-based moral complacency, secure in our knowledge that we will eventually go to heaven. Because she knows civilization will end in an oil-starved dystopia, drowned in a gray ocean. Killed dead by super diseases and storms brought on by mankind's rape of the natural world. And there's absolutely nothing she can do about it. So why care, Lola? Why care about anything at all? Uh, she's like an environmentalist, like an um, activist. Because I can at least do that, Wormhorn, okay? I can care. I, I can care even when I'm fucking dead. <laughs> Lola. And I love my sisters, okay? I fucking love them. Even though I think they're dumber than a bag of wet socks and not very nice people, they are my family, and you gotta care about them, because there's nobody else to. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Oh, really? Yes, really. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I already ordered it. I was just oh. checking on the shipping number. If I had the tracking number, I'd just look online, wouldn't I? No, I just know it started with a J. Oh, well, they all start with J? Fuck me then, I guess. Sam. Thank God. Wormhorn was... Yeah, hi kids. Just just give me a second here. Thanks. Where did you come from? Kirby. Why the hell is this code so close to hell then? Oh, fine. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it anymore. Just get it here. Ugh. I'm trying out this new toothbrush subscription thing. So far, it's more trouble than it's worth. And uh, I won't charge you for the dings your personal demon inflicted upon my car. So. Thanks. Sorry? Apology accepted, but really, don't worry about it. How do we even get back? Took a courier demon, but just forget it. I mean, why waste time on unnecessary world building, you know? What? So, what? you two boxcar children never told me where you wanted to head to next. Back to the Strangler. Apollyon is waiting for us. I think the rape of the natural world is a line from Jurassic Park. Yeah, it's one of my favorite movies. We're halfway done, Lola. And then Satan, and then home. Are we halfway done? She gonna give us her seal? Well, I hope so. Sam seems to be breaking the fourth wall pretty often. I wonder if we should read more into that, or is that more just a comedy thing? Thanks, Sam! See, <laughs> Your car always seems to screw up right there. Alright, well... To Judgment Day we go. We are at First and Desert. Haven't been here for a while. Yeah, there's four demons, but there's only two markers on the thing, so maybe there's actually just two demons and we can't piss them off no matter what we do. I don't know. I can tell right off the bat that there's a lot of, um, branching dialogue, but in terms of actually branching plot events, I don't know how many there are. Maybe kind of like Oxenfree. Little things diverge here and there, but there's a massive amount of varying dialogue. Oh, 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 oh. The demons are lagging hell. All the wickedness in the world that man might do or say was no more to the mercy of God than a live coal dropped in the sea. Schoolyard Strangler? Yes, yes, how could I forget? Oh, big crowd tonight.
Why is there nobody here? Hello? You thought about becoming an attorney, right? Um, what? I'm talking to Lola. You wanted to be a lawyer? At one point, I think, while you were bopping around campus. Yeah, that was a dialogue option we had earlier, but I didn't choose it. Um, how do you even know that? I'm a seraphim, dear. I've looked through the heavenly telescope into every hazard of time. I can tell by how you tie your shoes what you think you want out of life. <sighs> you thought you were doing the right thing. Like Vortigern inviting the Jutes and losing Britain in the process. Like you giving Peter to Fella in exchange for his invitation. Uh -huh. You were trying to do the right thing. Is that why you let Roberta go to heaven? To meet God. And to be disappointed. Is hell better? Uh, you know what, Polly? I don't know why I did it, but I did it. Okay? And he's probably where he's supposed to be now because of it. It's where we're supposed to be too, you know? You sure about that? Standing as you are, in hell? Well, I'm curious about why we're here, but we're... We, we gotta hope that it's the wrong thing. Don't try to confuse the issue, Polly. Of the three of us, only two of us have souls. You do. That's true. But I had wings. Let's have a drink. Come on. Contests of drunken endurance are as old as simians. But the concept flourished in medieval Europe. It's not hard to see why. Life was monotonous, dreary. Serfs dodged bill collectors, wrote letters, public postings, hoping for mirroring notes of support. They worked themselves to the pith, dreaming of being a lord, fat and fame and leisure. Man, thank God we didn't have to worry about that shit anymore. Now it's just college <laughs> loans, the energy crisis, global poverty, child mortality, people uh, shooting each other. Well, you have sewers and sanitation now, and... Sure, artificial intelligence will eventually eclipse and enslave all of humanity, but until then, you can get toilet paper online, so. Do you know something we don't? The point is, people have always drunk to excess, drunk to compete in excess. And in the morning, and wrapped in their hangover, they feel wiser for it, as you would after surviving a storm. The thing of it is, they've only survived the day, and you can't dodge the bill collector forever. So... What are you saying exactly? That, what, that getting drunk is just deluding yourself into thinking you're happy? Cause yeah, I've been trying to tell Milo that since he still wore board shorts. But drinking and having fun is fine in moderation. Everything's fine in moderation, except uh, animal cruelty. The problem is, Satan doesn't appreciate moderation. He gets it from his father. She doesn't sound like she's happy with what hell's like right now. She wants change. That's why she wants to take it into her own hands. Are you gonna let us try to drink you? Finally! How long does it take Ooh. to clean a fucking bathroom? Huh? I texted Father Van Dyke to let everyone back in. Look guys, Roberto was going to be a piece of something happening tonight. His absence will make it more difficult, but it is still going to happen. So, I'm going to drink with you now because you did what you thought was right. And if that annoys me tonight, I can still respect it tomorrow. Sound good? <laughs> You're gonna drink to forget about it. It's actually kind of nice of you, even though you don't... I mean, I didn't do what you told me to. Polly, seriously, are you are you trying to take over hell? Focus on getting my seal, Lola. Once you're gone, this will all have been like a bad dream. Whenever you're ready. She says once you're gone, not if you're gone. Like it's a certainty that we'll get out of here. Let's hope that's the way it is. Down the shot, stack the shot. First one to make Jacob's ladder wins. Yeah, got it. And a one, and a two, and... Didn't know what any of those words meant, but okay. I'm gonna be honest, this is not a good look. Oh, okay, I'm trying to stack the glasses. Yeah, come on, Lola, you're winning! Man, why are you so good at this? I don't know. Don't jinx it! Keep going, keep going, almost there! Yeah. Maybe I'll win something for once. Awesome, you're doing it! <laughs> it all fell down! Well done, well done. Can't remember the last time I did that, honestly. Wait just a sec. Someone's texting me about where the death by fires get processed. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Okay, you want my seal of approval? Yes, please. I think you earned it. Thanks. Wow, she's really nice. 
Or is this just the, the drunken haze speaking? Yeah, awesome. Cool. You should see what I can do with the yo-yo. Walk the dog and everything. Well, if there isn't anything else, I should really get back to my soon-to-be eventful night. Uh, do you, by chance, know how we died? Because, uh... Because I really can't remember. Well, wait, maybe uh, maybe I don't want to know. Do you want to know, Lola? Of course. Because it's not a truth for everyone. No, of course we got to know. Yeah, I... Car accident. The stoplight at Oak Grove. Guy didn't look up to see the red. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Lola died on impact. Milo three hours later. Oh. Well, okay. Okay, kids. Look to the Mad Prophet. We want to hold fast to our senses and to our faith in them and think their consequences through to the end. Think about the consequences of tonight before you go and do something to make your mothers turn their heads. What do you think that means? Who knows? All I care about is I won my first court case, motherfuckers. Yeah, well, I'm glad <laughs> you're happy. Pray we didn't completely screw ourselves down the road when we needed Polyon's help. We only needed her help for the seal, and we got it, so poo on you, let's ramble. Our cause of death was just a simple car accident? Really? Oh, the birthday stuff for Tommy's still here. <laughs> uh, I'm really wondering about how this hell system works, because... Like, does everybody go to hell by default then? Because, as it sounds like right now, it doesn't sound like we did anything super bad in particular. Like, does everybody end up in hell? Unless if they do something really, really good, and then they go to heaven? Because otherwise, why are we going to hell for being killed in a car accident? She didn't say if we were the ones who, you know, were drunk driving or whatever. Well, maybe we were. Because the last thing that we know of is... We were at the party. I assume that part happened in real life. And then we were trying to get away from it because the party was boring. And... Ah, then maybe we drunk and drove. And that's how we ended up here. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's something that you should be going to hell for. Who knows, maybe we even caused somebody else to die too. Get me a famous last words. In that case, it doesn't really sound like we should be able to escape here. I need a drink to deal with all of this. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I don't really think I need the drink right now though, so I mean, we can just... ...down it a bit. <laughs> Get out of here. Everybody! Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. <laughs> Hello, my ha 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 hell. It was a little scary back there with Polly. I mean, in the end, we got her seal. I guess, still. Roberto was innocent, and I'm not gonna send an innocent man to the eye eating chamber or whatever. Yeah, okay, but it was just Polly. She wanted one thing, you know, and we didn't do it. And thank you, Lohim, it worked out, but I just don't know why. Like, you took that poem in fourth grade so to heart. The path less traveled. <laughs> so this is your nonsensical way to talk to me about moving away again? I didn't say anything about moving. Yes, the path less traveled. Moving away is the weird choice, right? Well, now that we're on the subject, why are you... Because you can burn the swap meet and the drive-in and the all-night diner to the ground, Milo. I want new experiences. I want to feel good about my life. I fucked up with the drunk girl at the bar, so I guess you're always right about everything. Uh -oh. Everything always comes up, Lola Wolf. Me and you will just be a footnote in your autobiography. How I got awesome. The story. Wait, what are you? Are you really bringing up that woman Eliza from the bachelor party? That was like two hours ago. Like, did Wormhorn become a brain parasite? Is she eating your cerebellum? What is going on? Nothing is going on. Forget it. The uh, the the heat is probably just getting to me. Well, I hope that's it. Cripes. Let's get away from that fire then. Oh no. It's a bit of an argument brewing. We've been together for a very long time, but especially at pivotal points in life, like changing schools, graduating, there's not really a guarantee that we'll always be friends, I guess. Huh. What? I thought the rain would hurt. Why? Ah! 
Fun fact, rain is one of the few things that are exactly the same in both heaven and hell, since an equal amount of people both love and hate it, like subtitles in movies or driving. But anyways, welcome to your new review. I love subtitles. Let's just jump right in, shall we? You know, someone must have slandered poor Roberto. For one morning, without having done anything wrong, he was dead and in hell. And you also know, it is rare for people <laughs> to be asked the question, which puts the- I do not care, la 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 la, you can't make me watch a stupid fucking thing. I can't <laughs> hear you, la 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 la. <laughs> hey, I'm fulfilling my duties if you can hear me or not, Lola. It only matters if you're in the room. La. Anyways, I can't believe you got him off. You complete idiots. All you had to do was not do anything right. And you couldn't even do that. Hey, dickbag, Roberto was innocent. I'm not gonna lose any sleep over this. Oh, Roberto was innocent. He was innocent, everyone. What, what a travesty. There's bigger things at stake here, Lola. Like Text what? me in two hours when you realize you did the absolute wrongest thing you could have done so far. And the new number one recollection on this completely made up list is, oh, oh shoot, how'd this one get in what? here? It looks like a picture of Lola not fulfilling her lifelong goal of becoming a powerful leader of industry. <laughs> uh, tisk tisk. what a shame, really. It's me as a hobo. Oh my God, no, how, how did you find these clearly divine images? What do you mean? I didn't do this, it must have been, uh, whatever, moving on. <laughs> She's not clever enough. Ugh. Okay, let's just motor through these quick facts of the night so far. You took a poor old witch's dress so you can sneak into a house of devilry. During your night out, 300 more people were certified to administer CPR. Hey, that's a nice one. Yeah. Thereby wasting their time and money since CPR, statistically speaking, never works. Really? Currently, 8% of people enjoy chewing ice, only 15% of which realize it is a sign of behavioral disorder really? or mineral deficiency. Just for, you know, my own sanity, may I ask how much longer? Wait, 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 there's just, I think there's just like 28 more. Wormhorn. Remember when Lola went on top in the costume? Oh, everyone saw that coming, right? I mean, look at her. <laughs> she made Milo be the legs. Wormhorn? What? I'm trying my best. I I I've been to the, the Akashic Records and back. I've been through your brain journals, your memory palaces. You're not exactly giving me snuff films and spy movies here. Let us go. No, you know what? Why should I? Tell me, why don't I just keep you here? Why don't I just, I just burn time till there's nothing left? Uh, cause it's more fun to let us out and watch us try and fail than sitting in this dark room on your first night in existence. I guess that's hard to argue. Ugh, whatever, just remember. I know which one of you likes to be spanked. Oh I know God. which one of you likes to get their hair pulled. I know which one of you hates themselves so much they hate their parents for the idea. And I know which one of you hates the other one almost as much. <gasps> Think about it. Bye. No, that's... She's just trying to divide us. Don't listen to her, Milo. It's not real. Yeah, that bit's not getting any fresher. I can tell you that much. I don't hate you, by the way. Oh, I don't want to say I know, because then I'm not saying that I don't hate him. Yeah, I don't hate you either. I don't know if... Th there could be a shred of truth in that, because that Wormhorn does have access to our mind palaces and memories and whatnot. But more likely, she's just trying to divide us, so let's... Let's stick together, okay? We've been together since kindergarten or preschool or whatever, okay? Don't let some random junior demon in hell divide us.